Hello, this is Mr. X Toasty, and hopefully that's not going in front of you. Okay, and we are doing another Minecraft Let's Play. This one is of B Rand's Happy Love, and I forgot to do something, so let me do a few things. Keep forgetting to do this right before I start recording and all right we're doing a happy love sounds about to go down so let's get these rules down fast this is B Rand's mini CTMs happy love inspired by Vex rule ones find to complete the monuments you know find the wool no sheep Play on easy or higher, never peaceful, stay within the boundaries of the map, survive in any way you can, and craft the gold block for the monument. Pretty simple, straightforward, like any other CTM is. And rule seven, have fun. I plan on it. I plan on it very much. We have a care package here, which is very generous. Kind of too generous, if you ask me. Looks like we got a rule book. It's fancy, usually. Ever since that update, let's read it. Oh, it's about the CTM's game guide. Well, if anyone doesn't know what a CTM is, or at least a mini one, mini CTM's only have three wool and one craftable block. And the blocks are made out of fortune gold, special gold that you find versus, you know, just any gold probably from Vex. I never really did much of the uh, other ones. I believe you actually could mine and smelt it. This one you have to actually get ones that are enchanted with fortune. And those are his philosophies on the map. Every one of his map have certain design philosophies to make it a unique experience. This one has resource restrictions, exploration rewards, and hidden in plain sight stuff. Got a little cow place over there. Don't think we really need it. Lots of chests over there, we'll look at that in a second. Let's look at this monument first. For anyone that's not, you know, seeing a mini CTM. You got three blocks. And there's your bonus. It's just, instead of a straight one, it is a round one. It looks like that looks like an area of focus. So let's go over there. This looks a lot easier than some of his, his first one that I played. His first one that I played was very, very uh, hard in the beginning. So, actually, let's make sure. Yeah, there's monsters out there. Of course, it's unpeaceful. Not unpeaceful. Lala lily pads. Click clack maze. And a leap of faith. Well, let's do the first trial first. I mean, it is the first trial. Sorry if it's too dark. It's pretty dark myself. In fact, let's put a torch up here. There you go. Out of the way. I changed the lava to water for your safety. Well, that's not fun. Why make it easier for me? It's very easy in the beginning. Why not make the trials the hardest part? In fact, why not make them dungeons like you did? Alright, first wall down. I see this being very quick and easy. A little too quick and easy. Especially when, you know... Your unlimited weapon that you give us is 
more powerful than a diamond sword. Follow the wooden path. Saying, you know, you don't have a don't break blocks rule, so you could just like break one of these blocks and then climb on the top. If anything. But he still made it easy by drawing us out the path. With like no spawners or anything. Getting suspicious. Now he's got a happy love all over our face or something. As unsexual as that sounds. <laughs> Damn it. Let's just get past here. Huh. Boots of soft landing. Okay. All right, I guess we go. Ooh, only three hearts. Uh oh. Ah! The box. It vanished. And what the? Hmm. Guess I was supposed to die. This might take a while. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Maybe I did something wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Spiders! Oh, okay, good. I mean, I was just gonna dead kill myself, but... I think I did. I'm in hell now. Mm, there's chest in there. Pull in there. Second chance. Well, I guess, yeah, I died, but... I think that's kind of harsh only giving me... Hey! Why am I Steve? Am I supposed to be Steve? I guess my hell version is Steve. Second chance. Hmm. What do they mean by second chance? Deception. Oh. He wasn't going to make it easy for us. Rule 7. Spiders are friendly. Hug them all. Oh. Okay. I'll do that for you. That map was far too easy. I was honestly getting bored watching you. I made a few changes. Enjoy. I suggest the change. B O R E D. Board. Otherwise, yeah, you got the spelling right, just the wrong board. This looks suspicious. I mean, everything else is nether rack. This is nether brick. Let's look inside. And there's something here. little bedrock thing. A little bedrock jumping. You'll never find all nine gold bars. Just throw this gold bar into the lava. You'll save a lot of wasted effort. And there's our first golden bar. Is that an enderman over there? That's an enderman. Something tells me I need to run. And run, and run, and run, and run, and run. What's this? First of all, it's a zombie on my roof of something. Hey, where are you going? What do you think you're doing? 
I gotta jump over there. Hey, there's a chest over there. Focal point. But there's a chest over here, so... I think I'm gonna dig my way down here. Something tells me that's a horrible idea just to jump down like that. Good thing this is another rack. It's easy to break, at least. Why is there a torch on that? Take that torch. Oh, hey. I'll take every one of those. Got a few more torches, too. Cool. Oh, look at that, and this looks like a way up. And it is. Alright, let's get into here. Get out of my house. Bye bye. Jump into the lava here for a surprise. Don't believe you. Spiders fall. Intersection B. Flotilla discus. Intersection A. Looks like that's what we got. House pheasant. Very nice. Actually, let's keep those in there. So let's do that. I want these stone slabs so I can get out of my house. Take a crafting table and furnace and one under chest. Sounds good to me. Fact. Let's use this. Crafting floor. Yeah. Oh, we got some beds up here. Why is there a piece of another rack right there? Oh, well, I guess they're on every part. Oh, another golden bar. Keep that there then. Guess they'll be our golden chest. I don't got a sign though. The do, do, do. Here's a sign I can use. Our gold chest. Let's go down here. There's an ender chest down here. Anything fun in the other chest? No. Alright. I guess that's just a special thing. And. Alright. Let's put our first down. Uh, excuse me. And cook our raw beef. And then I'm gonna make some. Bridges. out of our house. Perfect. Now we can go at every spot. Let's wait for our beef to be done. In fact, let's put away a lot of these swords. Keep two swords on us. Keep the redstone torches on us. Let's put these away. One ender chest for the time being. I'll take those beef. I think the first place I want to go to is the Flotilla Discus. Let's go. Uh, 
This looks pretty lit, so... Huh. Interesting. This looks like this will be the place that we put all our, our wolves. Yep, we got a brown wool, a black wool, and a purple wool. Each dungeon holds one gold bar. Okay. That looks different than the rest. Oh, what we got here? A golden bar. back on there and this is what I came here for show you this is where you'll get your zombie this is where you'll put your wool and your golden block if you make it and this your map we got the gold bar here so we don't need that anymore we got the gold bar at our base we don't need that anymore and we got the gold bar at the new beginning we don't need that anymore at spiders fall we'll find our coal at intersection A, we'll find the home of the undeads, dungeon one with a golden bar, the mushroom pit with our wood and a golden bar, the creeper's quarry with our stone, At intersection B, we'll find the twisted distortion dungeon two, the giant chasms dungeon three, and the ultimate mining shaft which has iron and a golden bar. And hopefully by the end of this, we'll be hitting the home of the undead in the mushroom pit. Hopefully. We'll see how it pans out. But that's my plan. Really? I guess I have to walk away and wait until he disappears. can't have that guy seeing me. Not with all this lava around. And having quite a bit of stuff. I guess what I could do, which I don't want to do though, is place my ender chest down. And put my stuff in it. I mean that would make a easy you know easier transition to these and not worry about dying but you only get a few ender chests so and skeletons aren't stupid enough to fall off. Would you walk over there? Good. Ah. All right, we did it. And some spiders. Awesome, there we go. That's what I wanted to find. Skeleton within my reach. There we go. Got ourselves arrows. We'll need those arrows, at least an arrow. They're very helpful. Fall off. Thank you. All right. What was I going to do now? Well, that's right. Put a lot of stuff in. Only need one arrow. Half the torches. And we need to put our gold block away so we don't lose that. And we're a third of the way done with our gold block. That was weird. <laughs> Alright. And we're going to intersection A now. <clears throat> 
Air Section 8 will have our wood that we'll need, but we're taking a stop somewhere first since we have arrows now. Kinda want those arrows for this first part. And it's very nice that this arrow, our arrow shooter, or bow, is Infinity in Flame. Which is why you only really need one. Oh no. I don't really spend my time using my wooden sword on zombies when they're the easiest thing to kill. By themselves. This is why I brought this. Oop. There we go. Now you're lit. We want those creepers to explode on us, because that's the only way we're going to get any real resources around here. As unfortunate as that sounds. But now that we got a few blocks, we can actually do some stuff. Like, push these guys off. How dare you attack me. Let's go to the house in the undead, shall we? Whoa. <laughs> Good. I need that light. You really don't want an Enderman attacking you now. Way too early for an Enderman to attack. Sorry, I was quiet there. Just trying to think of what to do. Anyways. Nice little walk all the way to, here we are, the home of the undead. First dungeon of this area. It's actually not a bad area. Not at all. Except if you count the spiders and all the other stuff. Come on, climb. Come here. Come to me. Okay, here. And this is what we want these arrows for. It's the only way we're going to be able to actually get a foothold in here. And light up some of these areas. Importantly, we want this chest. That chest is very helpful for us since mushrooms will be our number one source of food. And we want a lot of bowls. Any free bowls we can get is something that's very special. Don't look at the Enderman. 
All right, let's get out of here. We're done with there for a while. Don't want to really go back here until quite later in the game. Actually, not that quite later. I'm pretty sure it'll be there within an episode or two. In fact, I don't know why I'm hitting you guys with my sword. Just need to push you guys aside. Some more blocks. And here we are, the mushroom pit. Just like I said, mushrooms will be our main source of food. And this is where we'll get those. Kill the skeleton. Two arrows will kill them, since they're taking burn damage as well. And there's also a gold block here and a weapon. So we need to keep our eyes peeled so we can find those things. In one of those spots. What? Oh. One of those spots are right here. They both are going to be in the wall. And there's our gold bar. Only way out is with blocks, so make sure you have blocks before you go in there, otherwise you're kind of stuck. And the weapon is coming up right in that hole. Okay. Take it. All right. I believe this is just a hole of ha ha. Yep. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> There's my flaming arrow. <laughs> it's got flame in there. And like I said, the next one's in here. You got to be careful because sometimes things spawn in here. And the sharpened bow of force. If you're having trouble getting arrows from these. Guys, here you go. Plenty of them, and you have a sharpness, knockback, and punch. Very nice to have once your infinity bow is dead. Walk down here to a skeleton. Like I said, two shots always kills. And while you're here, you're looking for two things in particular. You're looking for wood, because that's where they said the wood's gonna be. And you gotta find about 20 of these mushrooms. It's not recommended, but highly. I think so. It's highly needed. Because you don't want to come back here too often. As you see, it's kind of a trip down. If you're hungry and, you know, don't have any mushrooms. You don't want to take a trip down here. Anyways, like I said, 20 mushrooms usually what I do. There's 20. And I say you should put your first ender chest here. All right, put some stuff away. Only want 
one arrow. Don't want that bow or that piece of gold in there. Or all of our bowls. Just keep one bowl with you. And a few mushrooms. If you die, you do not want to lose all that food. Stuff. And here's the supply crate. Of sticks galore. And this is what this ender chest is for. Partially. Like I said, if you're to die, don't die with the last stick. Too much sticks at least. This is the only source of wood you'll get. Because remember one of his rules was resource restrictions. And there's one of them. Pretty harsh one. If you lose all your sticks, you lose the ability to make weapons, pickaxes, bows, arrows, if you only choose to make arrows, which I wouldn't with the wood. There's always skeletons to get arrows from. But you lose your ability to make a lot of stuff. That's a bad thing not to be able to do. But now that we got that done, we're going to go to our base. And ignore that that creeper blew up right in our back. Wait for him to take a few ticks of damage and hit him again. Always wait to about four ticks with that before you shoot again. You'll get a kill, two shots, and save a lot of your bow. Because otherwise you can technically get two to three hits on them. Let's go back to the focal point. Well, let's make a bridge to the focal point. Oh, there's that glitch again, where it looks like everything's so much closer than it is, because of chunk errors. Look at that, we can see our monument. Anyways. So, we got pretty far in. I need a chest, we'll put it down here. When I pick it up from the chest. I need a chest from the chest. There we go. But we got pretty far. We got all of our sticks that we could so desire. I don't know why he made a half a stack for one of them though, but. Oops, not those. And there. So we got all of our sticks. We got an energy chest set up in one spot. And I'm not going to use that other ender chest for a while. In fact, intersection B is going to be where we put our next one, I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm planning on. Intersection A has their own. And we got plenty of stuff done. I think it's time to end it off here. So, next time we meet, we'll be heading back to intersection A. And we're going to go to the creeper quarry. And that's where our stone is at, because we need some stone stuff. So, until then, I'd like to say goodbye, and thanks for watching.